All right, guys, I'm going to do a quick video on the most stupidest pro-choice argument I ever heard in my life, which is comparing masturbation to abortion. Now, I know that uh, people like to grab on sticks since they know that abortion is otherwise murder. And they even have this thing called post-abortion where you give birth to a live baby and you cut its head off. And that shit's just evil. But any type of abortion is evil. And I contend that when the DNA goes into the egg, it is a person, a individual. And since women don't have a leg to stand on or that men who are male feminists who are pro-choice, which just means you're pro-female choice because the baby would choose to live. And the baby would choose to live, and if it wanted to kill itself, then it would have the choice to by, i.e., suicide. And even today in many states, they see suicide as a mental illness. So that's another thing. So women who have no leg to stand on would like to say, Hey, masturbation is equal to abortion. Fuck no. No. Your sperm only lasts three days. And that's with or without the egg. All the sperm does is it fertilizes the egg with DNA, thus making a human, then it dies. Either way, either it's in, in the pussy or out the pussy, it will last for only three days. That's it. And plus, you have billions upon billions of sperms in one jizz. So, you're telling me, I mean, it's like, if you want to compare that, that's like, if you want to compare masturbation to abortion, then you would have to say that when a woman gets an abortion, she gets another billion children in her fucking stomach. If you want to be that stupid... If you want to be that stupid and redundant, then there. She gets a, another billion um, people in her stomach after she abort. Does she? No. That's stupid. Now, that's the most stupidest argument I ever heard. There's very limited pro-choice arguments you can make other than that stupid fucking argument because they know you're killing a human. And the sides... Sperm doesn't automatically, after nine months, which it will not live, sperm only lives three days. Um, sperm only lives three days. So, sperm only lives three days, but it's not like uh, in nine months the baby will grow inside a, a male's dick and then the male would have to give birth to it. Shit, are you fucking kidding me? I mean, that's the most stupidest pro-life argument I have ever heard in my life. I don't really hear that much pro-life arguments that are pretty smart, like never, never ever heard of one. One of the things I love is when a pro-lifer says, well, but illegitimate children do a lot of crime, so thus you have to kill them before they kill you, or some variable to that shit. Okay, so not only you agree that single mothers make the worst parents, so why are you giving women um, primary custody of their kid? If single mother makes such huge worse parents and that they'll only make criminals, why are you giving a majority custody to uh, the mother? How come you don't give it to the father? Are you fucking kidding me? So they, they admit that they're sexist and that they think that women are doing a horrible job. They just have to sneak it. They have to sneak it. Society is more mad at you for being a deadbeat than making a dead baby. How about that? So that is the most stupidest pro-life argument. And I could show more gruesome ways of abortion, but I decided to just show this little baby being ripped out of the mother's body and, you know, just an animated cartoon or whatever of the mother's body. I mean, that's just it. And <laughs> I like I like how they compare babies to sperm because all sperm is white. Sometimes it's yellow, but if it's yellow, then you fucking fuck loads. Okay, all sperm is white. 
So are you saying that all t- fuck? As I was saying, all sperm is white. So are you saying that when you masturbate, it's a white genocide or that you think all children are white? Just like sperm. I mean, it's totally fucking stupid. So please just ask a person, well, if sperm, if you compare masturbation to sperm, do a woman right after she abort gets billions upon billions of children in her stomach after she abort? No, she only has one, maybe two children. Hell, maybe even eight children in her stomach at once some octomom shit but no you have billions upon billions of sperm in your skeet when you ejaculate i mean totally fucking stupid argument and it takes two people to get pregnant or it takes two people to cause a pregnancy it only takes one person to ejaculate and that's a male so yes it's a male thing and I've been seeing this argument pop out because they know that everybody masturbates and shit, uh, at least. And they're like, but not everybody do abortion. I mean, shit. Come on, man. I And another thing, abortion will definitely cause blood. When a when, um, person masturbates, do, do it cause automatic blood? I mean, come on, man. It's just fucking stupid. So I would like to see a pro-lifer like come up with another sound argument against this whole hey, 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 blah, blah. compare compare abortion to something totally like reasonable and shit. Like I compare like ejaculation to like to like uh, when a woman gets her period, uh, except that's. That's totally different because when a woman gets her period, you just get a lot of blood and shit. At least when you ejaculate and shit like that. Uh, it doesn't really fuck up your whole lining and shit like that. And also, I wonder, when a, when a person nocturnally masturbates, uh, when a person nocturnally ejaculates in your mind, is that equal to a miscarriage? Like... <laughs> In your little pro-life mind, is that equal to a fucking miscarriage when you have, when a person nocturnally ejaculates and shit like that? So overall, just pretty fucking stupid argument. You all have to come up with a better, more solid argument. And guys, I'm out, guys. So yeah, peace out.